Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here. Welcome back to Rise of Mordor yet again. And guys, this is by far the longest siege battle I will ever record to this point. Uh, it was almost 71 minutes long there at the beginning. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a fantastic siege battle. It is a 3v3. The settlement is called Lond Galen. And uh, it's pretty interesting uh, allies here on both sides. I definitely have to say that. Let's start off with the attacking force on this side. We will start off with Isengard. Being commanded by Zeet TV. He has brought six units of the Urukai infantry. Uh, three White Hand Stormers. Three Berserkers. Two Urukai Pikes. Two Urukai Crossbows. General is Lurts again. Fantastic to see him. And he also has one unit of the White Hand Grenadiers. Moving over to his first ally. We actually have two armies over here attacking together. Uh, we will take a look at Gondor. Gondor is being commanded by Gaper. And he has brought... I'm sorry. Gondor is being commanded by MB. I apologize for that. He has brought seven units of the Gondor Sword Infantry. Three Warriors of Lassenark. Two Citadel Guards, one of those being his general, one Princess Ghost Guard, one Fountain Guard, three Bra Black Root Veil Archers, one Ithilien Rangers, one Knight of the Silver Swan, and he did bring a trebuchet in the woods there. And then his final, or the final attacking army here we will take a look at is the Easterlings being commanded by Rev, and he has brought six units of the Elokrim Macemen, three Warlords of Rune, th uh, two War Runic Warlords, two Lokrim Halberdiers, General is a Bane of the Steps. He also has two units of the Clan Riders with him, three Varric Bowmen, and one Lokrim Archers. Getting into the defending side, we will take a look first at Erebor being commanded by Gaper, and he has brought three units of the Dwarven Barter Guard, three Iron Guards, one Erebor Halberdier, one Mansion Reclaimer. General is him. Dane Ironfoot is on the battlefield today. Let's see how well he and his boys do. Uh, he has also brought one unit of the Archers of the Red Mountain, one Erebor Crossbow, and he does have one unit of the Tomb Wardens. Second defending army on the battlefield. We will take a look. Sorry about that. Game did uh, crash. We do have the second defending army on the battlefield is the Haradrim, being commanded by Mature Child, and he's actually over here. Uh, he has brought with him three units of the Umbar Usurpers, three Adunakori, Two units of the Corsair Marines, two Mahud Beast Tamers, three back Black Serpent Rangers, one of those being his general, one Corsair Archer, and two units of the Camel Riders. Camel Riders? Camel Riders. Okay, good. And then the final defending army on the battlefield, we have Rohan being commanded by Lugo Torix, and he has brought three units of the Golden Hall, three units of gold, of Guard of the Golden Hall, sorry, five units of the Earling Retrainers, uh, two units of the Knights of the House of Errol, one of those being his general, three units of Garrison of the Hornburg, and one Onager. So, pretty solid armies on both sides. Let's get this back up onto play. Towers are now getting up to the wall here for the Easterlings. Gondor is also pressing up their towers, along with Isengard getting very, very close to the, uh, to the walls here as well. Let's see what this trebuchet is doing. Where is the trebuchet? Where is the trebuchet? Oh, oh, did it get destroyed? Oh, it did. Wow, okay, well that uh, didn't really do very much. Did it get any kills? Let's see what it did. Nothing. 
No kills. Oh, and not even a wall. Nothing. Oh, that is definitely going to make this attack just a lot harder. Not being able to make a breach or at least be able to get some shots in there. But look at this hilltop right here. Wow, that is a fantastic vantage point. As soon as they start landing, they're going to be... Ooh, that is going to be rough. But we do have some of the uh, Urukai infantry now getting ready to land up onto the walls. Tower... Oh, the gate is down. There we go. Moving on to the wall here, they will be taking on some of the Corsair Marines right off the bat. And there we go. Fighting is now underway on the top of the wall here. Hopping down in there, getting ready to start causing some damage. Another unit here. Nothing landing down over on this side. We do have a... Well, they did have a... Uh, I guess it got destroyed? Or did they knock the gate in? Oh, they did knock the gate in. So, okay. So, gate has been knocked in over on this side. One of the Urkai infantry responsible for that. Losing a lot of men, though. Wow. Down to 118 men. Let's swing back down onto the other side here. We will see how this fighting is going on the walls over on this side. Some of the warriors of Lassenark now getting up onto the wall. Course Garrison at Hornburg immediately going to start firing at them. I wonder if they can, can they use this staircase? We'll see here in a moment. I've never seen this settlement before, so we're going to see. Hopefully they can. That would be really cool if they can use this staircase to get down. But right now they are just getting bloody. Lost six men. Oh, wow. That was a good volley there. Five more men just dropping on that volley alone. Gondor Sword Infantry currently taking on some of the guards of the Golden Hall. Another unit of Gondor Sword Infantry there. So kind of pincering this unit of the uh, Golden Hall right there in the middle. That is pretty rough. Not a spot you want to be in. Are they able to come down? Oh, they couldn't. I guess they couldn't come down the staircase. They chose to come down the uh, the tower stairs here. Again, I don't know if it's uh, if they chose to come down that way or if that's just the way they have to go down. But it doesn't look like they were able to use this staircase here. This, to me, looks pretty cool. I like this little uh, drop down. Ooh, artillery on fire. What? How's that on fire? Artillery, uh, archers firing at it, maybe? That is quite possible. I did see some fire arrows coming in, so yeah. Onager losing two Onagers there. Ooh, that is rough. Gate has been knocked in here. We do have a unit of the Gondor Sword Infantry. Looks like they're going to just make their way right on through this gatehouse, and they will immediately be repelled by some Iron Guards there. Unit of Cavalry Knights of the House of Errol now making their way around. Looks like maybe they're going to wait to try and get a charge in there. Gondor Sword Infantry has pulled back. All three units of the cavalry coming out here for the Easterlings. They were hidden in that woods over there. Let's see how the Easterlings attack is going so far. Taking on the dwarves up on the wall here. Erebor spear guards and there is a unit of... Is it just the Erebor spear guards up here? It is. One unit of the Erebor spear guards currently taking on just one. No, they're taking on two units. Two units of the Locrim Macemen here. Wow. here even yeah look at that they're even holding the staircase themselves that's actually really cool to see so they i guess they can use that staircase i wonder why he chose to not come down here but oh god knights of the house of errol have gotten a massive charge in onto the back of that warriors of lasenak unit and they are drowning very very quickly down to 76 men left in the unit 22 kills Erlig retainers are holding this line very, very well so far. Dwarven Barak guard here as well. 
So big hammer right there. They definitely did get a solid rear charge or flank charge, I should say. Oh, that guy just got back. I thought I just watched him get whacked in the head. Oh, another dwarf dropping there. Ooh, good shot there. Caught him right in the ribs. And another hammer charge. They came in again. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the same unit. Knights of the, Knights of the House of Errol have come back in again. 14 kills now, 15 kills. And that Warriors of Lassenark unit will be removed here very, very shortly. It's more of the Gondor infantry taking on this unit of Gondor. The uh, Guard of the Golden Hall still fighting for their lives up on the wall here. Doing a pretty good job, though. This Gondor sword infantry is losing pretty quickly. Down to 59 men left in that unit. Let's swing over here and see how Isengard is dealing with her Haradrim. And, oh, yeah, right there. Perfect. Perfect vantage point, just being able to fire straight into those Isengard units. Wow. That is so cool. What a nice hilltop right there for the defenders. That's amazing. That is really, really, really cool. Look at that weapon. That's pretty badass looking. It's like a grappling hook. I bet that hurts. It's got a spike on the top. Ooh. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. All right, let's take a look outside. Still a lot of Isengard over here. He just sent up his Uruks right now. Urukai infantry have moved up. They're on the walls. Doesn't look like... Actually, no. Some of the crossbows. Lurts himself is starting to make his way forward to the wall as well. Do have some of the berserkers up on the wall. And also, okay. So he's got a lot of units up here. Oh, no. We got an archer unit on their way out. What is that? That is a... Stop moving. Oh, that's a, one of the uh, Black Serpent Rangers already gone. 50 kills for them. They have been routed. They're actually re recoiling their numbers. They're recovering themselves, I should say. Recoiling? That was not what I meant to say at all. <laughs> but all right, let's see how this gatehouse is going. Does look like Gondor has moved their way through here. Gondor Sword Infantry moving up, taking on some of the Iron Guards. Erlig retainer, Retainers there, along with the unit of the garrison, the Hornburg. Hornburg arm moving around. Looks like they're going to fall back. Ooh, they're taking shots. Haven't lost anybody yet, though. Gotta love that armor. Gotta love that armor. 70 armor. Massive. fighting so far. I wonder where these archers are at. He's actually got a unit. Oh, the Varig Longbowmen already up on the wall. They're out of ammo. Oh my god. 60 kills for the Varig Longbowmen. Not too bad. A lot of infant uh, archers still outside. No, there's, there's, there's still reinforcement infantry. Oh yeah, look at this. Halberdier's still here. The Warlords of Rune's still there. The Runic Savage is still around. There is a ton of infantry left. It does look like Gondor has used a decent amount of his infantry already, though. Golden Hall is still holding. That's amazing. So cool. Swing back around over on this side. See how these uh, archers up on the hill are doing. Are they still just raining death? 
Oh, Black Serpent, uh, range of the general unit, 234 kills. Oh my god. That's crazy amount of kills for the archers in this mod. 148 on this unit. They still have their bows in their hands. Oh man. Still being very successful holding this front wall. I wonder, are we going to see the, uh, the walls blown up though? Will the White Hand Grenadiers get up here and make themselves a breach? again see what's going on Isengard is starting to move his troops up just a little bit further Lurtz is still yeah very much alive very very much alive actually look at the Grenadiers taking some damage wonder what they took so much damage from 35 men lost was it artillery did a cavalry unit come outside let's take a look uh no and no so I'm not exactly sure how they lost so many men let's swing back down our own over on this side see how this gate battle is going Oh, wait. Oh, no. Artillery. The honors are there for Rohan. Taking some fire arrows again. Doesn't look like they're being as successful, but look at this placement. Wow. Varig Longbowman. Oh, sorry. Varig, Varig Bowman over here getting some really great shots. Firing straight into the side and back of this Eric Retrainer unit. Oh, man. Oh, getting some ooh, friendly, friend, friendly kills, friendly fire, friendly fire, a little bit, a little bit of friendly fire there. Oh, God. Yep, yep, yep. Still killing more of their own guys. They're killing some of the Rohan troops, too, though. There's a pretty far shot, though. Yeah, that is pretty far. To get it up over the top of the tower, and none of those arrows are hitting that tower. That's really cool. That's really good. That is really good. Look at the range. Locrim archers firing so far back. Is that them? It is. Look at that. How far is their range? 175. Wow, that's re that's a pretty far range. I know this is a long battle replay, guys, and I do hope that you enjoy the coverage of it. If you do, please make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, as I always ask. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, uh, getting closer to 7,200 subscribers, really wanting to hit that 10K goal for this year of 2022, though. Also, you know, let me know, guys, if you're really enjoying seeing the uh, different types of Total Wars. The different mods, Rise of Mordor, um, Napoleon now is starting to make a showing on my channel here and there. We'd like to start covering some more of 1212, obviously. Some modded, to uh, modded Total Wars also, Thrones of Britannia, stuff like that. So if you guys have any replays, feel free to send them all over to the Hungry Wolves Discord as well. Link for that is in the description below. But yeah, they are getting some really good shots now. Really, really, oh, that hill, this is amazing. This berm right here is really, really well placed. At least for the defenders, not so much the attackers. Let's see, are they going to get another shot? Yeah, they are. Stringing up those bows, getting ready to fire. Come on. Oh, they're not. They're holding. Holding shots back. Here it comes. Here it comes. An entire unit. Where are they firing over there? Yeah, I mean they got a lot of targets. They definitely have a lot of targets here. White hand stormers are up here now. Oh, that's a tough unit. What is that? Urkai infantry routing away. 82 kills for them. So so far, pretty solid battle. Holding the walls very, very well are the uh, defenders at the moment. 
Let's take a look at the man count. Started off with 51-20 for the defenders, down to 34-80. And then the uh, attackers, 77-67, down to 51-92. So, decent amount of damage done by both sides to this point. This unit's still there. Oh, my God. Guard of the Golden Hall. 41 kills, but they are still holding back against the wall here. Trying their best to continue to hold. Early trainers are pulling away. Iron Guard still, they've lost one man. Tough, tough, tough fighting. this. Gondor's starting to get a little around the corner here. Oh. Hi. Yeah, you got two dwarves in your back, bud. like uh, Gondor is actually starting to get a little around the corner here. They, yeah, they are getting a little over around the side of the Iron Guards right there, so maybe they'll be able to start pressing up a little bit further. So just a massive battle for the walls here, though. Trying their hardest to continue trying to... Ooh, went through the wall there on that one. Apologies. Mokra Maceman still giving a big time battle to these early retainers. Still holding well. Wow. Really well done. Got some cavalry on the move here. Clan riders making their way around. Actually looks like, oh, a lot of cavalry. All three units of the Easterling cavalry making their way around, along with the Gondor cavalry also. So maybe they're looking to get into this settlement. We got the two units of the Urukai Pikes right there at the gate, maybe getting ready to press through as well. Archer's now starting to fire. Alerts himself is starting to fire. Alerts his unit, I should say, starting to fire. Not sure what they're shooting at, though. Are they trying to just hit the... I think they're trying to shoot the Camel Riders. Yeah, they are. Shooting down onto the Camel Riders there. Have not lost anybody yet. 55 armor for them. It's actually a pretty cool unit to look at. Look at that. Look at these guys. It's actually really cool. Oh, okay. Hope you kiss your wife goodbye, too, bud. The uh, Erebor Spear Guards here not looking too solid now, though. Finally starting to get beaten down. They did a decent amount. I mean, they only killed 52 guys, but they held for a long, 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 long time. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh. Oh, they captured the, uh, they captured the gate. Yeah, they did. They captured the gate. So this is going to be the beginning of possibly the beginning of a floodgate for the attackers to get through. Some Varric Longbowmen. Varric Bowmen. I keep calling them the Longbowmen. Varric Bowmen have now come up to assist the Gondor Sword Infantry trying to gate this gate. And some Erebor crossbows out of ammunition. 124 kills for them. They are going to move into position to continue helping these Iron Guards who again have not lost another man since the last time we looked. Still at 99 men. Or 99 dwarves I should say. Where's that artillery? Is it gone? 
Oh, still there. Still there. 54 kills, not too, not too bad, not too bad. Locro Maceman outside. Archers still have some ammo. These boys firing right now? Looks like they're trying to do something. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're this weird turnaround dance thing with each other. That's kind of weird. Waiting. Hopefully those uh, white hand, the grenadiers are used. I don't know. I'm pretty. Yeah, this is the unit that. Right. Oh no, that's the sappers that blew up the wall. This is just nap throwers. Okay. Destroyed. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Massing up their lines, getting ready to come in. They are getting ready to come in here. What do we have here on the front line? Some Mahud beast tamers there. Two units of the Andacori. Aduna Cori. Holding the uh, the gate here, and here we go. Crossbows have moved really far up, but nope. I think they were going to try and get some shots in there. Does look like they are going to pull back, though. I mean, maybe if they came off on the side here, they might be able to get some shots straight through the gate, turn them back onto auto fire. It's possible that they would fire there, but Lurtz is starting to move back again. He is a regular bow unit, so maybe he'll be able to fire over the wall, unlike the crossbows who cannot fire over the wall. Oh, Mahoud Page Stammer's making their way through. Is it both units? It is. Here they come. Harad is going to bring the fight out to Isengard, looks like. Oh, Lurtz getting way too close to the wall. Pull away. Get back, Lurtz. Run, run, run. Cavalry is right there, though. Oh, the Anaduna Kori is coming out as well. And there they go, charging in onto these Beast Tamers before they had a chance to really set up. Good charge. Looks like they got a little bit of a javelin volley off there as well. charge so melee coming outside of the settlement now the Dunakori not looking too good they're losing a lot of men only killing four so far looks like the second unit of the Dunakori are making their way out here maybe they'll be able to uh, suffer some more damage but one of the unit clan riders are being removed from the battlefield 72 kills for that unit second unit still over there in melee taking on the beast tamers Starting to lose their men now, though. Let's get back inside the settlement. See how this gate over here is going. Still just a massive brawl. Have they lost another man? They've lost four. Okay, so four more dwarves have dropped. We actually have some of the uh, Lucra Macemen getting down off the wall, finally. So the attackers now have a foothold into the settlement. They will have to deal with the Knights of House... Knights of the House of Errol General, though, from Rohan, immediately going to try and run away. Looks like they got a pretty good charge. 29 kills to their credit so far. Looks like the local Macemen are going to try and run back up onto the wall. Will they be able to get away from this cavalry before they make contact? I don't think that they will. Nope, he's definitely going to hit them. And get a good charge in their back, sending some of them to the ground, some of them just kind of stumbling away, though. So not the greatest of charges, but he is going to leave them in there. Heavy shock cavalry. And yeah, that unit is going to be gone. Locrum Maceman, 81 kills. Not too bad. They did have a very tough fight up on the wall there, though. Finally getting through the Erebor spear guards. Bane of the Step General now making his way back around by his army. Up on the wall, the defenders. Look at this. More of the attacker units are wavering away. Gondor Sword Infantry just not faring well. I mean, they did. They actually did really well. Although they didn't. I thought that said 234 kills. Who's got that? Black Serpent Ranger General. 52 kills for that unit. This unit here with 45. So the Aerolink Retrainers doing a very good job. 
Uh, along with the unit of, what is that, Dwarven Bardic Guard up there. 260 kills for those dwarves, losing 30 men. Wow. Very, very solid defense to this point. Cavalry starting to rumble around again outside, and oh, God. Aduna Corey now charging out, going to meet up. Oh, no, look at this. Beast Chamber's actually getting into the Urukai crossbows. Oh, the Grenadiers. No, that's huge. Did they get any kills? 31 kills. Wow. Very, very nicely done here by Harad. Getting his camel riders out. Taking on the uh, the crossbows there. Where is Lurtz? Is he dead? Nope, there he is. Lurtz right here hiding down in the woods. Trying to get some shots up. There you go. Getting some shots up into those camel riders. Very, very cool. So we're about a half an hour into the battle, roughly a half an hour into the battle, and there is still a lot of infantry back here. A lot of infantry. Easterling still having five units of infantry not even involved in the battle yet. Sending up another couple of his units here. Another unit of the Locra Mace making their way up, and a unit of the Runic Savages now making their way up. This gate is still being held. Jesus, Iron Guards are insane. The dwarves can hold and hold and hold. that that's something over here I'm not sure exactly what unit that is that just shattered over here Mahood Peace Tamers not looking too good Camel Riders currently taking on some oh Knights of the Silver Swan up in the melee I wonder if those camels actually cause fear to the horses I wonder if they do I think they oh they do scare horses beautiful out here. Iron Guard outside of the settlement now. Cheering on their allies. Lurtz's unit doing pretty good so far. What did he say? 100, 115 kills. Pretty good there. Crossbows there are up to 112. So doing really good so far with the, in melee as far as their range units go. Taking on a unit of the Black Serpent Rangers. 339. My God, the kills with the archers in this game. Or this battle, I should say. That's crazy. I wonder what the dwarves are waiting for, though. The dwarves could easily come around and charge in onto the flank of the uh, crossbows. And Lurtz himself, actually. Where's Dane? Is he still just hanging out? Yes, he is. Dane is still holding that center point. Here comes the Serpent Guard, or Serpent Ranger General coming over towards the gate. 
Looks like they're going to make their way out here. So the battle is coming out from the defenders. They are charging out of the walls. Still up on the wall here, though. Urkai Infantry looks like they have finally been victorious. Two units of White Hand Stormers over on this side, taking on some of the uh, Aduna Kori and unit of the Umbar Usurpers still on the wall there. Doing a pretty good job. Looks like this unit is out of ammunition, though. Black Serpent Rangers out of ammo. 66 kills for them. But the blood continuing to spray all over these white walls. Get back around over here is this gatehouse. It's still being held. Oh my god. Down to 87. So they've only lost seven more men. But they do. Easterlings have brought up some of their halberdiers, though. That might actually start evening out this battle. Over on this side, though, again, House of Arrow Knights have charged in onto the back of another unit of the Loker Macemen. 84 kills for the general now, circling around sure I think maybe he's gonna pull away looks like he is gonna pull away artillery still there Oniger is still alive eight uh, 97 kills for him for the artillery piece but look at this still infantry outside fountain guards locrum halberdiers still have a unit of the runic savages outside and all three units of the warlords of rune still out here for the Easterlings another big charge he came back I thought he was gone, but he has returned again. What a big charge there, getting a decent amount. Over 100 kills now for him. He's going to retreat away again from the archer fire. this general 122 kill oh, oh uh oh where is this artillery firing is he firing straight at the gate let's see come on there re it's it's wind down let's go i want to see where these shots are going don't lose your head no they're holding of course nope firing let's see Come on. Artillery masters to work. Smartly now. It's already reloaded. Let it go. Oh, they're firing. Oh, they're just firing into this huge blob. Oh, no, they're firing on the wall. There you go. Look. Oh, my God. Big rip in there. I wonder why they're not coming down over here. Come down this staircase again. I mean, I know that that... Uh, the Knights of Errol is still rumbling around. They've actually pulled back pretty far, though. 49 out of 70 men left in that unit. Swing back down over here, see how this uh, impromptu field battle is going. We actually have, oh, the Serpent General outside, and he is not looking very good now. Did walk away with 308 kills, though, but it does look like Isengard's forces out here will end up being victorious against this general. Did he just break? He did. So the Black Serpent Ranger General has now routed 412 kills. Sorry about that. He's got 410, uh, 412 kills. Where's this cavalry? Where'd the cavalry go? Did they run back over to the other side? Looks like they did. Urukai Infantry now in the battle. Ooh, that's actually a good place. Hopefully these guys are firing straight into the back of this Iron Guard infantry. They are 
are getting some good shots in into the back of that uh, Ironfoot unit. Still up in the town center. Dane Ironfoot still just holding his ground. Waiting, 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 waiting. Got to get, get, get a shot of him. Look at that. Model is amazing. Such a cool model. Such a cool model. Great general. I think he's probably one of the greatest generals in the game. He just does so much damage. If used correctly, does so much damage. Citadel guards there. The general for Gondor has moved to the mouth of the gate. We have the artillery crew for Gondor making their way through here. Unfortunately, like we said back at the beginning, zero kills there. They did lose their trebuchet pretty early on. Look at this. Some more of the Lokrim halberdiers. Actually, did they get around? Looks like they did. Looks like they got around, but we have some more of the garrison of Hornburg have made their way over. Second unit of garrison of Hornburg holding off, waiting to see if they need to fill in that line. But still, Iron Guards doing work. 183 kills. Losing 17 dwarves so far. Garrison of Hornburg are falling back, though. At least one of the units is falling back. Second unit now looks like they're going to move forward. They're going to continue trying to hold back these halberdiers. Very small unit of Citadel Guards have returned to the battle, but they're going to be removed again pretty quickly. Guard of the Golden Hall going to come over, and uh, they just, yeah, they're just going to finish this unit off as they're walking past them. Dwarves now coming over again. Looks like they're making their way over. Going to try and help hold this center gate. Oh, what are we doing now? Oh, look at this. The Warlords of Rune actually falling back. Going to grab up some more towers. Looks like they're going to try and land over here. Spread their attack out a little bit further on the wall. Still a half an hour left in this battle, guys. And this has been a brutal fight so far. Brutal fight for the walls. Does look like Isengard is finally getting ready to get inside this settlement, though. Wonder if that cavalry is going to come back. Maybe the Bane of the Step General can get back over here. That would be huge if he gets back over here and helps out. If he can get through that gate. But the dwarves are... Oh, the dwarves are stuck right in that gate. Not wanting to let it go. Iron Guard's currently taking on Lurch's unit. Is Lurch still alive? Let's zoom in here real quick, see if we can see it. There he is, right there in the center. So he is still very much alive. The dwarves there holding the gate. So the Urukai crossbows now making their way in. Are they both out of ammo? No, the crossbows still have ammo. Look at crossbows still have ambar. I wonder if bringing them up onto the wall might be a little bit beneficial for them. Ooh, what is that red line I just saw? Looks like some of the mansion reclaimers now making their way over here to help hold this back. But I, I don't think the iron guards are really going to need all that much help at the moment. Still 60 dwarves, 61 dwarves in that unit there. So they definitely still have that under control. Back up over this fight is still going on as well. White Hand Stormers, 105 kills. Second unit of White Hand Stormers, 117. We do see some of the Umbar Usurpers, though, starting to wave. Oh, they just shattered. So here's another opportunity for the attacking Isengard to be able to maybe get a good, solid foothold into the settlement. One of the White Stormers just break? Oh, no, he didn't. They're just falling a little bit back, but now they're going to charge back in. So Aduna Kori now holding this wall as hard as, as for, well, they're going to hold it for as long as they can, but I don't know how uh, how much longer they will be alive. Oh, they're shattered right there. 175, though. Nothing to, uh, nothing to be ashamed of at all. But finally, finally, after 
almost an hour worth of battling. Isengard has become victorious on this side of the wall. At least units up on the wall are going to be able to get in. Lurts and the crossbows still taking on this unit of Iron Guards. Again, only losing one more man. They were at 61. They've lost one dwarf in the time that we were watching this battle going on up over there. Let's take a look back over on this side again. This gatehouse is still under contention, but oh no. Fountain guards have made their way through. The dwarves still here. Dwarves of Barakar. Dwarven Barakar still holding. Moving over. Iron Guard still holding 215 kills for them now. Wow, what a battle. This is going to be a force, though. This is going to be a problem for the defenders. If these guys get up onto that wall and get down into the streets and start flooding around, that will be a problem. Garrett's in the Hornburg. Two units. Oh, no, that's a unit, another unit of Iron Guard still holding up here as well. 183 kills for them. Oh, where the heck? What the heck? Where'd that guy get out? What? Oh, did this unit just come back? Oh, okay. Oh, the general's on the move again, though. Let's see. What's he doing? Currently is hidden. I wonder if he's just going to slip around, wait by these buildings to see if these warlords come down off the wall. Nope, he's going to keep falling back. Still hidden, though. Still hidden. Not sure how, but they are still hidden. We just had something come charging in there. Dwarven Bardic Guard now charging into the fight. Artillery coming back to Oh, wow, that was a rip. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. And that, oh, that looked like it was his final shot. It was. 176 kills, though. Pretty solid amount of damage. Those look like the dwarves are starting to pull back their bar guard, getting them out of the way. Not a bad idea. But look at this Gondor force starting to have in some really solid wavering here in the middle. The trebuchet crew starting to waver. Some of the Varric Bowmen there for the Easterlings. A couple more units back here. Blackroot, Vale, Archers, and another unit of the Locrum Macemen starting to waver, but Cavalry is at the gate. So the second, I have a feeling, the second this line breaks, and they can start moving forward, that Bane of the Steps is definitely going to get in here. Let's take a look at, wow, look at that. 600-man difference, so big, big return by the defenders, cutting down the difference by 1,000. So 600-man difference now. Started off with a 1,600-man difference, so very solid uh, solid job there. The attackers have now captured this front gatehouse, finally captured this front gatehouse. Let's see how we're doing back over on this side. Some more of the dwarves, the mansion reclaimers now up on the wall, taking on these two units, White Hand Stormers. General has fallen. Lurtz is dead. Lurtz has died over here. The dwarves responsible for removing a powerful general on the attacker's side. Did you kill the owner of that head? Love it. <laughs> Some of the banter in Total War is amazing. Uh, Dane, what are you doing? Oh, Dane is actually starting to move out. Very cool. 
Good to see he's on the move. But over on this side, yeah, look at this. Easterling's now starting to com take command of this wall, just marching down the wall. No real reason. I mean, they do see the uh, House of Errol right there, the Knights of the House of Errol. So they're not going to come down off the wall unless they have to. Oh, wait. Maybe I spoke too soon. Runic Savages making their way down. I wonder if that's just the one you... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Two units of cavalry in their wedge formation. And here we go. Mowing these men down. Oh, keep charging. Oh, they're going to pull away. They have to pull away. Here we go. They're going to come for a better charge this time. There you go. Good hammer charge, and they're going to keep going in. They're going to keep trying to get in there, coming back away again. 139 kills. Second unit coming down. The general unit himself coming around, getting into some of these locrum archers. Numbers are close, down to 300 man difference, roughly a 300 man difference. So defenders are really, really grinding back here into this battle. Oh, look at this. Some of the Urkai crossbows have actually made it inside, capturing up the gate. Are they firing? They are not. Oh, it says that they are. Let's see. Firing straight into the back of that Iron Guard unit. Probably going to get a decent amount of kills. Are they going to just pull away? Oh, nope, they're turning around. Going to charge in. Going to try and get into these crossbows, not let them continue just shooting them in the back. But Lurch's unit, Lurch is dead. But Lurch's unit is still very much alive. 45 men still in that unit. We're going to have a lot of kills here to look at. Oh, they broke. Wow, that was fast. Iron Guard's gone. I think they did get a pretty good amount of kills, though. 57 kills. They held the bridge for a while, but now we have some of the garrison of the Hornburg. For Rohan now going to make their way down here, get into these Urukai crossbows. Still being held up on the wall again. White Hand Storm is being held up by the Mansion Reclaimers. Very solid. Against. Cannot. They just can't catch a break. They cannot catch a break over on that wall. Dane Ironfoot has moved forward. Balance of power is pretty much in the middle now, but now we have a 200-man difference. Wow. This is close. Oh, no. Warlords of Rune came in down off the wall. They're just getting crushed. They are just absolutely getting annihilated over here. 198 for this general there. The other units of cavalry here with uh, 243. I was going to say it was almost 250, I thought. All right, guys. Coming into the battle replay yet again. I did suffer another crash, but I'm pretty much back to where we were. I think I might have skipped forward a little bit, but we didn't miss a whole lot. Still just brutal fighting going on everywhere. Lurtz's unit is still alive. 354 kills. Finally starting to waver away, though. This garrison of the Hornburg looks like it's going to be enough to finally get rid of that. There they go. So Lurtz's unit is now finally gone, but they still have units on the wall. And here comes, oh no. Bane of the Steps making their way over here. This could be trouble for the defenders now. General could make his way through here it's going to hold off though just for a moment looks like maybe he's getting ready to come in that could be huge but there's still isengard is still on the battlefield guys i know this is a long battle but i am certain that it has been worth it to this point See the cavalry moving in the background. Is he going to make his way through? 
They are coming through. Only one unit of the House of the Go- of the uh, Guard of the Horn. I'm sorry, Garrison of the Hornburg here holding. There is a lot of guard units on this battlefield. So, again, I do apologize for messing up some of the names. Big charge there, though, for the Bane of the Steps General, and he is probably going to make short work of this garrison. Let's see where the cavalry is at. Uh, Dane is actually moving forward. This line is still holding, guys. This is amazing. Same unit of Iron Guards have been here the entire battle. Fighting, fighting, fight. Oh, no, that's the first unit. Second unit has moved over here. Wow. Is that cavalry going to get through? He is through, pushing into the settlement. Oh, this is big. This is big. The next unit they may come across here is gar another garrison of the Hornburg, but we do see General... Oh, no. I thought that was the... Uh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh, no. He's going to turn back around. Probably just going to try and get a charge onto these unit of Warlords of Rune as they're coming down. Not sure. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Bane of the Steps making his way through the back streets of this settlement. And he actually is looking like he's going to close in on the Knights of Errol now. Are they going to spin back around? No, they are still going forward and they're going to go for it. Knights of Errol are going to retreat away. This is big. This is a huge opportunity. Two full units of Warlords of Rune making their way off of the wall. This is a dire situation now for the Knights of House of Errol. Trying to... Yeah, he's just running away. I don't blame him at all. Trying to get away. Actually, second unit now coming in behind the Bane of the Steps General. Going to get a charge in here. Is he going to turn back around? He is. So nice trap pulled there by the Rohan player. Bane of the Steps General is about to get sandwiched. Where's he charging? Is he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? I'm still pulling away. Still pulling away. But, oh, the Bane of the Steps General has now caught the Rohan General out. Nope, he's going to pull out. Going to pull away from the fight yet again. Does not want to get that Warlords of Rune unit into his face. But another big charge. Wow. Wow. 354 with this unit closing in on 360 now. The general still running away. Knights of Errol General has retreated away fully. 259 for him. What do we have coming here though? Ooh, a Tomb Warden unit. These guys mean business. Look at the armor. Massive pole arms they're carrying. This is going to be huge. The dwarves are still in motion. Big charge into the dwarves. The House of Errol has actually turned back around. Bane of the Steps going to try and retreat away. Woods of Rune making their way over here. Where did that general go? Oh, man. They are stationary, though. Will they be able to suffer this charge, or will they be able to hold... Oh my god. But the Bane of the Steps now coming back up. And I think this Knight of Errol has now been surrounded. And I think he just died. Oh no. That is huge. But look at the numbers. The defenders actually have more men now. Two Wardens making their way slowly up here. The other unit of House of Errol making their way up here as well. Trying to surround the Bane of the Steps General. Unfortunately, Rohan's General has fallen. Back up on the front line over here though. Dane Ironfoot still waiting to get involved. At this moment, he doesn't seem to need to be put, involved, put into battle just yet. This battle has been going on for a long, long, long time, guys. And if any of you are still watching to this point, thank you very, very much for sticking around. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the battle. If you have, again, please make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, continue subscribing to the channel. 
Yeah, like I said earlier, getting closer to 7,200 subscribers, really want to hit that 10K goal for this year of 2022. Is that Dane that just charged in? No, I don't think so. Oh, nope, here comes Dane. Dane's unit now getting involved, and you can see him right there in the center, fighting side by side with his dwarven brethren. that we got peasants actually coming up to try and help fight the lines that's actually oh that guy died oh that guy died more cavalry coming in though is that try is that units trying to retreat i believe it is yeah that's the house of errol general trying to get away from the settlement oh wait a second Dane. oh he pulled back out so just getting in there nice charge pulled back out though he's going to continue watching over his men let's get back around where is oh this battle's still going on here Archers of the Red Mountain now pressing up into the Warlords of Rune. Second unit of Warlords just hanging out on the side there. Bane of the Step General, 64 kills so far for him, but just a huge fight still going on. Warlords of Rune now charging in onto the flank of the Archers of the Red Mountains. back well, the halberdier is going to follow other well, twin warden is going to follow are they going to hold the bridge the uh archers of the red mountain have moved forward where did that bane of the step general go uh oh oh there he is oh he's taking on some more of the is this garrison of hornberg again yes it is but the garrison again unfortunately not strong enough to be able to deal with this bane of the steps general unit and he has been victorious again Taking out yet another unit of the Rohan forces. Back up over on the front wall here, though. White Hand Stormers are still here, guys. Still fighting. Mansion Reclaimers, 96 kills. They are going to pull back. Let the Garrison of the Hornburg, 202 kills. Let them move in. fall all the way down i think that would have been really cool if he did fall all the way down let's get back over to this gatehouse battle is still my god still going on fountain guards up in the midst 51 kills for them so far unit has definitely taken some serious losses I cannot get over the fact. Look at this Iron Guard unit. Five dwarves still fighting. Dane Ironfoot here, keeping the morale of his dwarves up, keeping them in the battle. Citadel Guards now pressing in again.
get back up in the middle, see how this fight is going up near the town center. Where is that Bane of the Steps general? There he is. He's coming around. Oh, no. This could be bad. This could be very, very bad. Some of the Warlords of Rune now making their way around. Knights of the House of Errol continuing to stay in strong. They're actually... Are they going to suffer a charge? They are. They will suffer a charge here again. Bane of the Steps coming in. Massive charge. Massive charge. But the Tomb Wardens quickly making their way over here. Or kind of quickly. Now they're walking. Trying to maybe keep their... Uh, Oh, no, they're being chased. Warlords of Rune again. Getting into the back of this Tomb Warden unit. That could spell the end of this Knights of House Errol unit. And it is. It is going to spell the end of this unit very, very quickly. And the Bane of the Steps going to try and get away before the Tomb Wardens get there. Tomb Wardens have gotten there, but the majority of the unit now charging. Oh, and they're going to full front charge into Dane here. Wow. 396, so the defenders actually now outmanned almost 2-1. to one. Still pressing forward. I think the Bane of the Steps General... Yeah, Bane of the Steps General unit has now been annihilated. So good job there by Dane. I wonder, is he going to... Oh, yep, he's going to charge down into the gate. Now they're going to reverse field. That's where I was thinking they were going to go. Going to charge up into the back of these Warlords of Rune. Currently being held up by the very dwindling unit of Tomb Wardens. Here we go, Dane charging up this hill. Been yeah, they have. The Tomb Warden unit is gone. What is this? Mansion Reclaimers who had came off the wall coming in to help Dane. Dwarves stick together. Making short work. Oh, yeah, short work, and now this Warlord's Rune unit is going to suffer some damage. Mansion Reclaimers coming in with a charge. Dane's unit falling back just a little bit. 77 kills down to 74 men left in the unit. But they are going to get another rear charge in onto this Warlord's Rune unit. see Dane there in the center of your picture right there up on the front line with his men it does look like Warlords of Rune unit has now broken so the last bit of fighting will be here at this gatehouse Citadel Guard General for Gondor has now moved forward. Lokrum Halberdiers, actually, where did that unit even come from? Getting into the back of these Dwarven units, starting to do some damage. Barak Guard down, oh yeah, down to four men left. 412 kills though, 230 for the Iron Guards, the other unit of Iron Guards there, 319. 
All the Deers have turned around, maybe waiting for Dane Ironfoot's charge. Dane did not get the charge off, but the Mansion Reclaimers again coming around. 132 kills for them. Up on the wall, we still have fighting on the wall. Garrison the Hornburg getting rid of a unit of the Black Root Vale Archers. Another unit of the, uh, what is this? Princess Coast Guards for Gondor up on the wall. 209 to 225. Defenders starting to bring it back in their favor again, man count wise. Mansion Reclaimers getting a charge in onto the Citadel Guard General. Final minute and 30 seconds of this battle, guys. And Dane has been victorious again. 160 kills. Now they're going to charge down, get into that Citadel Guard unit. Where is Dane? There he is, up on the front again. that it is that it final 20 seconds of the battle fountain guard still fighting away over here citadel guard general not looking too good 23 men left he is starting to route and that's going to be it wow 188 to 56 was the final count of men on the battlefield what a brutal brutal battle let's get into the army comps here at the end we will start by taking a look at the haradrim being commanded by a uh, mature child who was the one that sent the replay in sorry if i sound a little off that was a long replay to cover guys really really long battle uh but mature child thank you very much for sending the replay in all six of you guys fantastic battle uh black serpent general 313 Getting it to some of his Umbar Usurpers, 164, 138, 104. The uh, Adunakori, 175, 122. Uh, Mahud Beastmasters that sallied out over on that side, 148 for that unit. Black Circuit Rate, look at that, 412 kills. The Camel Riders not doing very well. Uh, Gaper here, though, with Erebor, 185 for Dane. Baruch Guard, one, uh, 230, 208, 413. Mansion Reclaimers, 144. Iron Guard 233, 330. They held for a ton of time. Uh, Airborne Halberdiers, actually. Wow, look at that. Zero kills. They got murdered. Although that's, yeah, Mansion Reclaimers. There's the two Mordens, 47 kills. Archers, uh, 172. Crossbows here, 152. And then we have Rohan being commanded by Lugatorix. General 290. Uh, Aeroling Retainers, 165, 144. Golden Hall, they held for a very long time off the wall. They'll get that 128 for that unit. Garrison and Hornburg, 213, 391, 383 on the other unit of Knights of the House of Errol and his Onager, 177. Getting onto the attacker's side, Easterlings being commanded by Rev, his general, 139. Warlords of Rune, 165, 178. Two, uh, oh, that's only 24. I said 124. Uh, Lokrum House, uh, Lokrum Macemen not faring very well. Again, they were fighting a very hard fight up on the wall there. It looks like top unit, 96, 81. Uh, the Lokrum Halberdiers, 62, 24. Varig Longbowman, 84, 119, 141. And the Clan Riders, 72, 35. MB with Gondor, Citadel Guard, 36 kills. Gondor Sword Infantry, 108, 168. Warriors of Larsenark here, top unit was 40. The other unit of Citadel Guards, 103. Uh, Princess Ghost Guards, up. All, they were the last unit that was up on the wall there. 69 kills for them. Giggity, Fountain Guards, 76. The Blackroot Vale Archers, 78, 125. Ethereum Rangers, 133. 
Knights of the Silver Swan, 104. Unfortunately, again, that trebuchet getting taken out pretty quick onto the battle. And then finally, we have Isengard being commanded by ZTV, 360 for Lurts. Urukai Infantry, 142, 168, 82, 72, 76. Uh, White Hand Stormers, 227, 128. Berserker's not getting a whole lot of kills. Urukai Pike's not a whole lot of kills. Urukai Crossbows, 120, uh, 165, 117. And unfortunately, the White Hand Grenadiers, only 31 kills. But guys, an hour and 10 minutes long of this battle replay. Insane. I'm out of breath. I'm tired. I'm going to end it here. Check the links in the description below. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.